Hello, everybody. My name is Samuel Proctor, professional music um, analyzer, also known as the King Cobra. Um, today, we're going to be, to be doing a very momentous event that I've been alluding to for a very long time. You know what it is. Today, we are going to be analyzing the Creeper Rap. This is widely considered one of the greatest music, one of the greatest songs and music videos ever created uh, from our generation. I'm going to be going through the entirety of the music video and the song itself to tell you all the deep lore and knowledge there is to be had with this particular song. And without further ado, we're going to... Um, we're going to start. Okay, so right away, we can see that the the pickaxe mining the, I think, diamonds or coal or whatever the hell it is, you can see that they, the mining is actually tuned up to the beat of the song. This is a very obscure detail and was very well integrated. Um, so right off the bat, we've got some really interesting um, dichotomous music going on. I'm a creeper, Minecraft Grim Reaper, blowing up blocks like Al Qaeda. Okay, so this part gained a lot of controversy, and it's because creepers are not really the strongest enemy in Minecraft anymore. So them being called the the Grim Reaper of Minecraft kind of a little bit strange don't you think but you know what they're the classic they're the classic um very tough enemy to defeat in the game and even from the beginning of minecraft you always recognize the creeper as just an immediate threat so them being the grim reaper of the game is very is very fitting i think which a lot of people i think will disagree with but that's what I think the int artist artistic integrity of the song is trying to get at. Um, the song also is very admirable for using the correct pronunciation of Al Qaeda. Many pronounce it Al Qaeda or Al Qaeda, but it is in fact Al Qaeda. And anyone who tries to argue otherwise, um, I don't know, fucking read the dictionary. I'm not a creature that a leecher, but a leave you um, this part of the song is... Let's just go back for a moment. Yeah. Creepers don't eat people in Minecraft, or in the lore, as far as I know. So, um... This is purely factual. They, they'll leave you petrified, but they don't... They don't eat you, that is a fact. Just go back and analyze that for a second. As you can see here, Remind Peeps of Minesweeper is a very interesting line, and ones that many Zoomers in the audience may not understand. You see, Minesweeper was a game for the Windows Vista, where you would try to find where the bombs were placed. So when this song says, Remind Peeps of Minesweeper, it's really telling you the, the mental anguish that you really go through when you see a creeper because anyone over the age of 18 would recognize that same feeling of of like impending explosive doom from seeing a creeper as would be playing minesweeper and i think this is a very good line um dan bull really pulling out the stops for us classic minesweeper fans as well so very well put together and I appreciate this line a lot. As we can see here, they use the word mine approximately 60 times in the span of the last three seconds. This is really pushing a, um, a kind of uh, lay motif of the word mine. As, like, as you may know, this is based on Minecraft. That's not known by a lot of people, but... That's just, that's just the facts. It's, it, it's a very, well, 
see, this song is just, it's a lot to take in, so uh, sorry if my analysis may not seem as deep as it is, but let's just go back and take a look at that again. He's a mind reader. This is maybe a reference to the fact that the Creeper's AI in Minecraft is incredibly advanced to the point where it might seem that they're reading your mind during gameplay. A very interesting thing to reference there. His find is keepers. Oh hi, I'm a creeper. So nice, nice to meet. As you just saw, he used the as you can see that spelling of hi, you might you might think that's wrong, but this is actually a reference to um, leet culture. And seeing as Minecraft and Leet culture are intertwined together in our society, it's really an interesting reference you could see there that they would want to, like, reference that, you know? Because, like, you know, it's really what Minecraft owes itself to. And saying, nice to meet you and all this, and this very kindly voice is is meant to be ironic in the sense that this creeper is not nice at all, and it wouldn't be nice to them, would it? Okay, before we get into the real banger part of the song, I need to talk about that. The TikTok, TikTok genius. As many may know, bombs make that noise, or at least they did in the, in the 15th century, and that's very interesting how they would reference that, because as some people may know, the creepers in Minecraft explode, and a real fan could tell you that it reminds them of a 15th century bomb. As we can see or hear, this absolutely fire breakdown section, I think it's called, where the creeper is just, like, He's like laying down the beats, man. It just pumps into your brain, it's so good. The lyrics are pretty simple. Gonna make your mind go boom, boom, boom. Just hammering it in. I can't stop singing this bloody tune, tune, tune. Yeah, and neither can we, because it's amazing. <laughs> This line is is quite well integrated. As you can see, this genius rhyming here, putting up to the fact that he's a suicide bama, which is exactly what the creepers are. Some people may not know this, but in real life, there are people like creepers who will eat TNT and then run into a highly populated area. You know what? Most people know this. I'm gonna move on. I take control and I'm gonna leave a gaping hole, Bella. As you can see here, he references the fact that creepers can blow a gaping hole in the wall of your house. And then he says the name of a random woman. Um, maybe the woman is the name of, as we can see here, this woman who is in this house with this person. Um, I don't know who this is. Some people say that this Dan Bull actually had the beta design for um, <clears throat> Minecraft Alex, which is what this may be, and that's very cool information. Maybe her name was Belladonna in the beta versions. As you can see there, Fizz Like a Lemonade and Blow is a very... It's a very, it's a, it's a deep reference to Dan's culture. As a British person, lemonade there is considered a soft drink. So here we may not think of lemonade fizzing, but there it's just the way how it is. So really putting it out there, how like he's not afraid to embrace his culture and um, like just put himself out there to the world. It's really, um, it's really, uh, admirable of him to do that as a British person myself. This line here is uh it's just hammering in the fact that this creeper is ruining this poor man's life and it really puts it into perspective. Darling, oh, what you crying for? Did somebody break your diamond sword? 
right there you could see uh, a great example in the music video of just showing this character of the creeper how he uses his fingerless foot to pick up this poor belladonna's sword and throw it into a lava this is not a mechanic of minecraft but i very appreciate the creative integrity to have something like that just to push the story home and that's very interesting i'm the volatile sword for the violent force for the frightened spartan talk and hear leonidas talk when it sees me tonight be dying indoors that part as well is very is another furthering of the creeper's character in this narrative how the other dangerous mobs within the game were running away from him just like it really shows just how much terror the creeper invites with its presence it's, it's it, it sends a message that's for sure here we have the breakdown section again i'm just gonna let it play just so you can hear this absolute fire As we can see there, there was a lot of references to detonation, like, tools, which is, in a sense, what a creeper is, a tool of pure detonation. And that, that little thing to end it off, a shizzle, beautiful. Like, some people make fun of the rappers for making up words to rhyme, but fashizzle it's genius it works so well you can almost describe a creeper just with that alone fashizzle take a listen it's a permanent shit on my mission death by demolition if i don't come home there's a sign in my kitchen to describe why i'm missing gone fishing white hot raps i got stacked sometimes when i die i drop tracks i got a lot this is a really really like deep lore minecraft reference i hear that i appreciate when i die i drop tracks obviously a reference to the fact that creepers have a very 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 low chance of dropping some music discs within the game and also being attacked by ocelots the only thing that will attack creepers at will very very interesting and it really shows how much dan bull put into this like masterpiece of a song the fact that he would just go all out with these references to the game that i bet not a lot of people know Hello, I And that's the end of it with that beautiful ending shot of the creeper face with the explosions. Absolutely like beautiful creative thing to just end it on. And just like this man, Dan Bull, abs like he's just an absolute legend. What do we even say about him? Like he's created so many classics like um he's just like He's, he's just a visionary. Not other person could put all this into one package of a song. The fact that I could analyze this for so long, and I didn't even talk about all I want to talk about, but I'd be here for hours if I was. Dan, if you're listening to this, just like, man, you have defined a generation with your music, and I am proud to be a part of it. And... I was highly requested to do the ending B, which we are now going to view, obviously, because we can't have a comprehensive analysis without it, obviously. We're just gonna skip to that. My hobbies and interests include going No! In this, you see, this is even, like, even more showing just the, like, the pure anger that a player would have towards a creeper. And showing that a creeper, while in our eyes the 
then maybe the hero can't always win. Being punched in the face by Minecraft guy over here, I forget. Steve, just... And just him lying on the ground, motionless. It it send like he, it just sends a message that I think not a lot of people would really get. And that's basically all I have to say. I this song is incredibly influential to my generation and many others. And the fact the my ability to analyze it here today is something that I'm very grateful for. And. I thank you all for watching, and please support Dan Bull. I'll be leaving a link to his channel in the description. He is just an absolute legend, and you should follow him on YouTube. With all that said, this has been King Cobra, and I'll see you around. I don't have an intro. I hate doing this. <laughs>